Before his surgery, Adrian Joinson was an athlete who competed in endurance events. But for four years, he was left unable to pick up his own daughter after his surgeon performed one poor shoulder operation, followed by two more the hospital admits were unnecessary. It was quite a simple operation that he was supposed to do, yet he didn't seem to fix it. But obviously, didn't question too many things. He's a qualified surgeon, I thought. He's somebody I trusted that obviously other people trusted. I'd like to know why. Why was he doing Was he just inept at what he was doing? Or is there another reason why? Adrian was treated by a surgeon called Michael Walsh at the private Spire Leeds Hospital, one of up to 200 of his patients who've had to have their care reviewed. The company says as many as 50 may have been harmed by him. Spire says Walsh was suspended when concerns were first raised in April 2018 and an investigation was launched. He has since retired. Patients who've been affected are being invited back for an independent review and Spire has apologised. But it's the same firm where the jailed breast surgeon Ian Patterson was able to carry out hundreds of unnecessary procedures. And while the Walsh investigation is ongoing, for some it raises more concerns about safeguards at private hospitals. What we need is a whole systems approach. Uh, we need a system of regulation and monitoring in private healthcare that's much more robust, where the patients and families are empowered. If I just run my finger down there, as soon as I get to there, there's no feeling, it just spreads numbness all across my hand. When Scott Murray was referred with pain in his hand, he claims Michael Walsh left him with nerve damage from an operation he never needed. I thought I was going to lose my job, and if, if that had happened, they just financially ruined us. So they're not just messing with the people, they're messing with everyone's families as well. Spire hasn't accepted liability in Scott's case and lawyers acting for Michael Walsh had no comment today. But solicitors representing patients say more people are coming forward with concerns about the treatment they received.